Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how simple it is to program a PLC to control a frequency converter using the Schneider Electrix OEM platform sew machine. And as you can see, I have the new software installed, sew machine v4.1. So to show this demo, I'm going to use a M258 PLC. And the drive will be ATV312. I am going to use my assistant to con to create a project. I will give a project name, ATV Control. And I will check my fill buttons is needed, because I'm going to use can open between my PLC and the drive. And I can see on my list, it's already filtered uh, the PLC with can open interface. I go to M258 and I can see the hardware specification for this one where my mouse points. I choose this one in my demo case. Oh, yeah, my program language will be function block diagram. I create project. So, in the workflow, the new workflow, you can see the configuration part. I can add and remove hardware. Application design part, I can program my controller, program my HMI, uh, set up my functional, my function, uh, safety functions and uh, motion profile. And afterwards, I can make multiple downloads to all devices by one click, or I can make maintenance, flash firmware, and so on. So now I go to my controller. Now I want to make the program. So in the programming interface, I can see pretty much look like the old codices, but uh, with some new features. So on the left side, the navigation side, I have three tabs. One is for my devices, it's my hardware setup. And I have my application tree, so all the software part, the code part, task part, and the tools tree where will my library manager trace, visualization, and so on. And the right side, there's my toolbox as usual, and then I have my software and hardware catalog, where I can find controllers, HMIs, devices, and macro functionalities. And all these I can drag and drop from right side to the left side. So I want to add an ATV312. I want to use the device template uh, functionality where I can get uh, the function block and the visualization served from the beginning. So I will take the ATV312 visualization and now I can drag and drop to my hardware tree. And as the only place I can drop it is my, on my can open and other places is grayed out. Very nice. Drop it. Uh, device name. I call it ATV312. This will be my access reference. I will use later on uh, as input to my function block. Device address. Is my can open address is one on this one, and the program section where my function block will be um, added will be my one and only POU. So okay to that. Now the sew machine will automatically import all the libraries needed to um, to my code and the visualization. So if we look at the device tree, the template automatically added uh, can open performance manager to manage my bus, and it has managed to add an ATV312 as a node. I can com configure it if I double click on it. In my application, on my code, the template added a function block called Ativa Startup, which is universal for all our, our ATVs. So it doesn't matter if I use 312 or uh, 71 or 32. And input access will, will be my ATV312 and, and a command word to provide the control of the axis. 
and control mode to con uh, to to control um, to define where the control should come from from application or the visualization we saw, uh, velocity in the ramps reference and the output I have my status and uh, actual velocity and current consumption of the drive and as just like everything all the other program I can uh, click on F1 when I stand on the function block and the program automatically opens the uh, the help file to uh, provide some information on the function block so actually I can read the input for for example can uh, the command word um, here as input so if I write one it will be enable the drive two disable the drive three to reset four to stop and nine to move velocity so basically I have full control of the drive just using an integer Okay, let's close that. As mentioned before, I can use my control mode input to uh, use either visualization or application to control the device. So let's check out the visualization in Tools 3. And we can see here the device template added a visualization to make the control graphical, uh, very yeah, easy to understand. Um, got my status as feedback and the command as input so that's it uh, that's all I need to do is drag and drop a device template to my can open so now let's go online to the PLC go to my device tree double click on my controller and with the new uh, sew machine v4.1 there's a new gateway interface as well now I can see all the uh, attached uh, controller online. Uh, I can see on my network there is a 1258 and 1251. And without connecting to it, I can see the project, current running project on the controller. I can see the current IP address, time since boot, node name, firmware version as well. Very useful. And as a new feature, I can also ping a controller. So now uh, the control can the controller can identify themselves by blinking with all LEDs on the front. This is very uh, it's very useful if especially if you have multiple controller on the same network, so you can see which one you are actually uh, logged into. So now uh, my M two five eight is highlighted. I can log in, make a download to the controller. I confirm, yes, and download. Okay. And we can see the left side, all my hardware is functional. There's a green circle uh, to the left side of my interfaces. So everything's running. My can open is functional and my node is operational. So everything's good. Now I just need to start my PLC so I can execute my code. Now the PLC is in run. I go to my application tree opens my code I can see I'm online on my code the command word is zero so there's no active command yet so I switch to my visualization here I can see my current state is in error stop there's an error code given as well uh, right now uh, actual velocity is zero actual current is zero and command I can trick the commands by using these buttons and give the reference uh, velocity reference and uh, acceleration deceleration reference by inter values in this place so let's try uh, I need to clear the error first by press reset so now the status disabled is ready now we can enable the drive by clicking enable and my operation state is in run and ready 
driving standstill. Now we can give the reference. Let's say let's run 40 hertz. 40 hertz and move velocity. So you can see the acceleration that velocity is increasing. And now I'm actually in the velocity and I'm busy state. I'm in a continuous motion state uh, because now it's a endless movement with the velocity. So the drive is running. And then I can stop the drive by press stop. So that's it. Very simple. Uh, one drag and drop to control a frequency converter. Now as a bonus intro, I want to show you a new feature comes with the, the new 4.1. Let's log out first. I go to my tools tree. So the new feature is the whip visualization, um, which means that I can now project the visualization created in Sew Machine to a whip page which uh, will be available for all the browser which supports HTML5. So that makes remote control uh, very, very easy. So where I do that is very simple. I add visualization manager. I just add VIP visualization. Add. And now so machine will load extra libraries to handle this feature. And by the way, this feature is completely free, which comes uh, automatically with Sew Machine and uh, is embedded in platform M251, 258, and 241. So my VIP visualization, I can see here, is pointing at uh, ATV312 Man Visu I just created before. The name of the HTML5 is Web Visual. I need to remember this uh, because I have to enter this in my uh, web browser. My uh, update rate is 200 milliseconds, which is okay. I use a special size to fit my screen. So that's it. I make a new download, full download to my controller. Yes. Download done. Close this. Let's uh, log in. Yes. Okay, my visualization is running in Sew Machine. And I need my IP address first. I open my gateway. I can see the IP address is 10.10.0.1.0.1. Remember that. I open my browser. I'm using Firefox. I just enter my address here. Oh, there. 10, 10. That's already here. So what I need to enter is the controller's IP address plus port 880 slash webvisu.htm enter and voila that's my web visualization and now i can control it from my browser reset arrow enable the drive and move 50 hertz so they're running totally in parallel and this is a very useful feature, and uh, and this feature is very. Uh, I can show you one thing more. It's very nice. I just close this. Now I'm using a template uh, visualization. So 
it's actually very flexible if I want to add extra elements in my visualization. Uh, in my toolbox, I can add all these elements, which will look like uh, Microsoft's uh, yeah, standard Windows uh, elements. There's tab control, there's combo box, table to automatically map array data, uh, sliders, progress bar, checkbox, radio buttons, and so on. I can add uh, meters, which is uh, quite nice looking, and potentiometers, there's lamps, different kind of lamps, and I can add weight symbol and uh, trace and ActiveX, uh, ActiveX element. So there is um, uh, a lot of possibilities to make a, a nice looking visualization and useful. So I hope uh, this is useful for you and um, good luck with your new solution.